Hi again, it's Jason from Fraser Valley Rose Farm. And as a small plant seller, I try to keep an eye on my costs, which means saving money on soil, on pots by using used pots, and of course, starting my plants from the cheapest method possible. Like I use seeds for a lot of my starts these days. And of course, these were only seeded a few weeks ago and they're just about ready for potting up now. So you can get a lot of plants for a very minimal cost. Another one of my favorites, and this one I wanna show you today is these hardy succulents. Now these are sedums, and I've done a video on tender succulents before. The method is just about the same, only these ones here are th the kinds of things that you can root this year, either for sale later this year, or if you overwinter them in your greenhouse, they will come back uh, even in the coldest of winter, they will make it through and they'll come back the following spring, ready like this, super early in the season with this kind of carpet of color uh, in a lot of different colors. So uh, the method for cutting them is actually super easy. You just take a cutting like this, uh, just like any other cutting, just below a node, and then stick them into your potting soil. I'm gonna give you some close-ups on this, but the one I wanted to show you today is kind of neat. This one here is a dragon's blood sedum, and it's doing something called adventitious rooting. I'm gonna get you some real close-ups on that. But just like tomatoes do, where low down on the stem, they're eager to root, and so if you actually plant them lower, they would re-root lower into the pot. These are also throwing kind of like air roots or adventitious rooting, meaning that they're ready. If you had them in a loose scrambly medium, that they would root in all sorts of different places. So if I just take a section of stem and put it into soil, you're gonna see that that rooting happens super fast. So let me get some of these cutting done I'll show you as I'm as I'm doing this and then we'll come back for the results in a couple of weeks before I show you the results of the propagation from low growing varieties like I have pictured in the front here I want to show you that I have all these different cultivars of sedum these are the larger leaved ones they're ranging in colors between purple green burgundy uh, almost red like you see on the far left of the screen now and golden which I don't have pictured here but in different shapes and sizes of leaves and structure of plant so by knowing how to grow one genus well and to make them from cuttings you can actually appeal to a wide range of different gardeners and different gardening situations and these all come very easily from cuttings in fact all of these are from cuttings all right, here are the cuttings that I took two weeks ago in this tray at the bottom here. And I'll get a close-up shot on this and begin to tease them out so you can see if they've done any rooting. Three different varieties here. So let's start with this finely leaved variety over here and just see if it's done anything. Yeah, it's holding some soil. I'll get you a close-up shot of that, of course. Really fine roots, but in two weeks, that's not so bad that it's holding a decent root ball like that. Let's check this variety on the left here and see if it's done any rooting. And once again, it's pulling up some soil with it, which is a really promising sign. And yes, it has some fine white roots. Uh, sort of peeking out from behind the soil there. And this dragon's blood that was in the middle, remember that one was the one with the adventitious roots, so I really was not in any doubt about how this one would do. And yeah, it's got a vigorous set of roots on that already, and that's after two weeks. So if anybody was counting along, I went from three small plants to a plug tray of 50 plants within about two weeks. They're lightly rooted at this point. I'd probably leave them in there a little bit longer before I would pot them, but you get my point. I could do that all day, every day with all these different varieties of sedums. Didn't take any special conditions. This was under regular household temperature, regular potting soil, no rooting hormone was necessary. I did put them under a humidity dome for the first week, but I'm not even sure how necessary that was. Uh, great confidence booster for propagating plants, and it's generally a, the same technique as you'd use for any other perennial, so it gets you right into the swing of propagating plants with something that is easy to get results on, and actually has such a wide variety that you can uh, either put it around your garden for great dramatic effect, or sell it along or share it with friends. So fantastic plant to, to get some practice with. 